Hello, and welcome to Differential Discussions. I'm Melissa. And I'm Dave. And in this video, we're going to show you how to correct the WBC count for the presence of NRBCs. So the number of NRBCs that you'll have to count that's different from the analyzer, if you're looking and using it from an analyzer, or if you're doing it manually, typically each institution will say you must count X NRBCs and then you need to correct the WBC count. So for example, if you're a tech working in the field and you count four or more NRBCs from what the instrument got, then you may need to correct the WBC for the presence of NRBCs. The reason being is the instruments count these, especially the really immature NRBCs as white cells. So if you have a lot of them, then you have to make sure that the instrument counted them appropriately as NRBCs and not white cells. And then if you're just straight out doing an example of it, you may be doing a WBC estimate, which we have a video on and we can link to, and then use your WBC estimate to then correct that for the presence of NRBCs. Yes, and we'd like the clinician to know how many white cells there are, right? So like clinically, it's relevant that we adjust that so we can give an accurate assessment of the patient's immune system status. Yeah. Absolutely, and that's, that's the reason is you can falsely elevate the white cell count. So, I mean, think about it. If you're dealing with a patient who they need the ANC, the absolute neutrophil count, you don't want them to think, oh, wow, my ANC is falsely decreased because my limps are falsely increased because of all these immature uh, NRBCs that are being falsely counted as limps. So we want to make sure that we get appropriate WBC estimate or appropriate WBC number, and we want to make sure that our differential is appropriate and correct. And so a lot of times we won't know, the instrument might flag and say an RBC abnormal scattergram question mark or something similar to where you know you need to look at the NRBCs and look at the slide. So we're not gonna know actually until we do a diff and look at the slide. And the counting, right? So the process of counting NRBCs, um, we're counting a differential. So you'll be reporting the number of NRBCs per 100 cells differentiated, white cells differentiated, right? So. Yep, absolutely. So NRBCs are not part of the diff. They are not part of the 100 but you count them, you tally them, you have a clicker, whatever you need to do to count the number of NRBCs as long as they don't contribute to your 100. So we wanna count the number we see, like Dave said, per 100 white cells uh, that we count for our diff. So what we have here is a slide. It's a, a really good, strong sickle cell disease. And typically they'll have NRBCs and sometimes a lot of NRBCs. So you can see, for example, here, this is an NRBC. So when we did our diff, we would tally the number of NRBCs that we see and then correct for the presence of NRBCs. So I'm just gonna move field so you can see another example. I'm gonna apologize to our viewers too. I might be muted and you might see me kind of distracted. I have a puppy that's, uh, yeah. He's demanding his attention. My, my well, I think attention. now you, it's demanded that you share the puppy. <laughs> at, a, at a later day, we'll get some uh, some pictures. Okay. He'll be the mascot of the channel at some point. But. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So this is another NRBC over here. So we're just keeping track of them, how many we got. So we're at two at the moment. Mm hmm and so all we would do is just keep kind of trucking along, do our diff, see how many we find. And then once we get to 100 white cells, hey, we found a couple of white cells finally. Oh, you can't see them. Let me pull it up. Hey, white cell, hooray. A monitor. Okay, so you would do your diff, get to 100 white cells, and then see how many NRBCs you had. So 
rather than doing a full diff with you, we're just gonna show you an example of how to do the math. All right, so I don't know, let's pretend we got 25 NRBCs. 25 sounds good. And we did our differential and we counted 100 WBCs, right? So, mm -hmm. um, so we'd have 25 NRBCs per 100 white cells. Yep. And then we'd set up the equation starting out with the white count, the raw white count or white cell estimate, depending yep. on how we're applying this. Um, and what do you say for the sake of like easiness, we go with like a 10,000, okay. 10,000 white count. <clears throat> My white count is 10,000 or mm -hmm. 10.0 K per microliter. Yep. So 10.0, that's a point. And then we're going to create a fraction. Um, so it would be the number of white cells counted, right? So that's 100 in this case. Times uh, yes, times. Yeah. Times the number of white cells that we counted, which is 100. Yep. And then and it's then... the number of Please, NRBCs. Please do. <laughs> yep. 25 plus the number of white cells that we counted, yep. which is 100. Okay. So again, we have our white cell. And this would be if you're if you're using an analyzer, this would be the white cell count before your instrument corrects for NRBCs. You don't want to use the one where it's already corrected. <laughs> Excellent job bringing that up. I kind of spaced that out, but that is such an important detail. You don't want to correct the corrected. Please know. <laughs> yep, absolutely. So you get your white cell that's uncorrected and you multiply it by the number of white cells that you counted in your diff. So we counted a hundred mm -hmm. and then divided by the number of NRBCs, which was 25 plus the number of white cells we counted in our diff, which is a hundred. So, so on my calculator, mm -hmm. I have the 100 divided by 125 comes out to 0 0.8. So 0 0.8 times 10 equals eight. So 8.0 would be our corrected white cell count. Yeah. So right. um, go ahead, do the math, follow along at home. Um, if you have any questions about the math, leave a comment um and we can maybe clear something up if i left something out yeah like that. absolutely yeah and it doesn't matter if you did it the way dave did it where he did 100 divided by 125 times 10 or if you do 10 times uh, 10 times 100 divided by 125 it doesn't matter it's basic math so you do your basic math however right. you want to do the important thing is to put the values in the correct spots Right, values in the correct spots. And to do uh, the addition of the 25 to plus 100, that should uh, receive priority, right? So right. I believe yep. it would be in parentheses, but, but yeah, it's pretty straightforward. I, I, uh, this is something that, you know, you don't do very often. So sometimes it comes up and you have like a little panic attack, like <laughs> Melissa remembers the formula probably better than, than I do, um, and maybe some others, but um, yeah. I know math is not necessarily, uh, our, and I say our as technologists, our comfort zone. Um, right. Well, and yeah. I think too, it's just, we don't do it often. True. Yeah. This right. is going to be something you do maybe a couple of times a year. So, you know, when you have to do it, you're going to pull out the procedure. Yeah, absolutely. And as analyzers get better and better, right. I mean, we've, we've seen, uh, over the years, they just, they, they're getting really good at their job. Um, yeah. so we do it less and less, but yeah, still good but to know. This is the, and yeah, most of you still need to know this. So students, you must know this text. Yes. You're still going to do this. If you work in a heme lab, you just might not do it very often. So right. it's still something you will need to know, but typically you do have a procedure for it, right? And students, unfortunately, you do have to memorize <laughs> the equation, <laughs> but it is something that it, it is, we must know as practicing, you know, laboratory hematologists because we will use it. Yes, absolutely. All right. Cool. Well, I think that's it for for this one so thanks for watching yeah thanks for your time please like subscribe and hit the bell if you'd like notifications whenever we post a new video and feel free to reach out to us on social media or via email with comments or suggestions about future content thanks